What are you doing here? <laughs> What's with the questions? I live here. No, 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 no. I thought we had this discussion earlier, okay? You packed your bags and left. Our marriage is over. Gone. No, it's not. Huh? I didn't come here blinded by love. And my parents made it very clear to me how important this institution of marriage is. And I am willing to follow through to the end. What end? What jargons are you speaking? <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to have this discussion twice in a day, okay? Because you cannot force a man to stay in a dead marriage, all right? And there's nothing, nothing that you will tell me that will make me change my mind. No, please, so I can move on. You're screaming. I, I, I hear you, honestly, darling. I do. to reply to that um, illegal document you gave to no, me. No, 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 I divorced you, okay? And, and how is my, my, my divorce illegal? Maybe if you look at the document you have in your hand on page two, you realize that one, I was never present for any of the divorce hearings, and number two, you never met any of the criteria for a petition of divorce to be honored. Huh? Hmm? Look, I'm sick and tired of this marriage, okay? And I no longer want to be a part of it. Is that not enough reason? No, it's not. And to think you've been divorced three times, you'd be an expert. Oh, that was Jankara style. <laughs> you, you will leave, okay? You will leave like every woman before you. Mark my words. I don't have a problem with that. As long as we go the right route. Well, haven't you heard of a, a marriage counselor? Oh, 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 only we need to have a reason for the problem. Yes, before that can work. And well, what's the reason again? Um, huh. Jenny, Jenny T, you're playing with fire. I'm warning you, you're playing with fire. Please stop being dramatic, I beg. I'm back. If you want to eat, just ask me and I'll make you something. Excuse me. Jenny T, you're playing with fire. Ah. This is madness. This will be the closest you come to being violent with me again, Tamano. The next time you try it, I'll make sure you regret it. I'm sorry. That was uncalled for. Good. Now let's talk like two adults. That's what I want. First, I was never served with any papers for divorce. Secondly, I never signed any petition to state that I divorced you. Thirdly, we never separated for a year, nor was there any form of abandonment prior to the filing of the divorce petition, which I never saw. So, Tamuno, do your work properly, because this girl is not an idiot. But the document I gave you were legal. Well, my lawyer didn't think so. You have a lawyer? Just take a good look at yourself, Tamuno. You look horrible, and you're making this so easy for me, love. Well, I can see you're enjoying this. Do you think I'll get married to a serial divorcee and not get prepared for what lies ahead? What do you want? What? Ask me tomorrow. I'm still so stunned I can't have a sane conversation with you right now. Oh, sorry, I woke up late. Aren't you late for work? I am going in late. After all, it's my company. Oh. Sit, I made you breakfast. Hmm. <laughs> you say you don't trust me any longer? 
Let's just say I like what's on your plate better. Hmm. So, what's good? Nothing yet. Looking forward to an eventful day. Hmm. What's that? Interesting. Enough ground for a divorce. Um, remind me again. What's this guy's name again? Oh, come on, you shock me. You mean to tell me you do not remember the name of the man that you're cheating on me with? Come on, just humor me, darling. I'm trying to act out your scripts without missing a beat. It will get messier. If I were you, I would pack up my things and leave my house before I get back from work. You know the problem with you? You like everything now, now. Now. Delayed gratification. Try it. It works. Well, how about I have someone who can get you an apartment as fast as possible? Most of my exes didn't have to go back to their parents' house. Ah, I bet they didn't. I don't know how it's gonna sound telling your parents that the man who you thought was the love of your life wasn't after all. Well, it's the jet age. I'm sure they should understand. Things happen quickly and now. Even breakups. I am. Um, I suggest you hold off on the real talk. All right, so please just sit up a bit, sit up a bit, all right? Turn your face to this direction. Okay. Here we go. All right, so do we have... All right, just come close a bit around your chest area. And yes. Dear. All right, I think that's enough. So I will file a petition with the court before the end of today. Ah. Uh -uh. Why, why are we going to the court? Your husband is behind the bars. Uh, yes, now. Ah, that is just for him to know that he can no longer push me around. Go to Bao. Wait, let, let, let me get something straight. A man that you have been married to for over 10 years comes home one day with an underage girl of about 16 who he claims is a relative. Hey, and hey barista. <laughs> I know the story. I lived with it for months. So you don't need to recount. No, no, no. I, I have to because I'm recording this. Just so when I want to know how unjust this world is, I can come back to it to know that so, some people just want to live their lives in misery. Okay. Let me ask you one question. Are you married? Madam, that doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so as I was saying, he impregnates this girl. And the only thing you could do was to raise noise about him cheating on you. Now you want this young girl out, but he wants the mother of his unborn child to stay. You know why? Because he says you cannot bear him children. Ah. Hey, Barista. 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 What is your interest? Why are you doing this? I said I don't want to leave my husband. What do you mean if you ever call and call me one day? I don't want to leave my husband. No, 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 no. I, I, I want you to realize what you want me to do. All right, that aside, now this morning you went as far as throwing this young girl's things out of the house. And you know what he does? Look at you, how beautiful you are. He beats you up. Just, just look at your face. He is still my husband. Ah. Still your husband? Someone who is working with the lawyers to, to serve you divorce papers? Whoa, 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 barista. I refuse to end my marriage because of this. I refuse to let go of my marriage because of one, one tiny leg girl that wants to start my husband from me. You cannot work. Ah, kole, kole shele. Tereko koko, kole le shele. I will not leave my husband. It is not possible. I will leave my husband. 
you, you know what you don't realize? Yeah. Now your marriage ended a long time Thanks ago. COVID. Ah, you get with with the blood. It will not happen. I'm going to take it away. Why? Why? Why are you cursing me? Why do you want my money to hide my voice? I don't understand. Give me one. How have I done wrong? Ah, you shall have money that be too bad. Wow. You shall have taken me money before I tell you. You shall have taken me money before I tell you. You shall have taken me money before I tell you. Do you understand what I'm trying to do for you? By living, testing me out of my own life. I want to secure a future for you. I mean, you need to get something. You just, you, 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 you don't know what he's planning. You need to get something out of this. You guys build houses together. Get one of them. Possess, possess something. Lands or, or whatever. Come on. Laura Konsha, you are saying that it is over. That it's not repairable. Strategy to turn on I will lose my shola like that. So you don't marry that smoggy. Eh? Listen. How even makes him think that I cannot have children? Go. I is it sure that I cannot have children as big as my body is? You know how many children? That girl is so skinny. You, can, you cannot. You, you can only have one at a time. See, Me, see. my size, I can have six at a go. Why is he? Why is he? Why is he? Is he God? Is he God? Because now that I, because now I still have hope. Now you are saying I should go. When we have, will I be able to have the children? Okay, for it's fine. It's, it's okay. Dreams. It's okay. All right. You need to allow me help you. All right, because he wants to leave. See, listen. He, Madam, he wants to leave you stranded. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Okay. All right, you, you need something to, to start all over again. To, I'm, I'm not saying your marriage is irreparable. If after we have done what, what you would allow us to do, you, you can go back to your marriage. Okay. I like the sound of getting something. So after getting the something, I'll go back to my shola. And if, 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 if you want to... Go back at, at but let's just do what we have to do. Okay. So how do I go about it? What are we going to do? How do I start? I warned you about this, Damano. I warned you, but you won't listen. Look, the deal has been done, okay? You're my lawyer, so please talk strategy. Strategy? Yes. Oh, do you mean you're ready to do what you're supposed to do in the first place? What exactly is that? Talk to your wife about what you don't like and deal with it. I'm in a relationship with another woman, okay? I like her and I believe we can build something beautiful together. You know what? Sometimes I just think we need to draw the line between friendship and business. Did you just say business? My representation is what set your chambers on the path of success in the first place. Don't you ever forget that when you try to play this card, okay? Business deals from my own firm and personal life is what keeps your business going. Fine! And I tell that to whoever cares to listen. That your company was the first time I presented, and even for you, I wondered what would have become of my career. Newsflash, <laughs> I would have survived. All right, I just needed somewhere to start. And in this case, you were my somewhere. So sit your ass down and let me regret in peace. Look, I'm gonna mess with this one. My worst nightmare is playing out in my own house. What do I do? And remember, this, this is not even a friend talking to you, okay? This is a client who is whipping in front of you. As a lawyer, I'd advise you to wait. But that's just plain at a disadvantaged angle. Really? Yes. She didn't sign any divorce papers, remember? She didn't even see a judge. No, that's because we lied. We claimed. Yeah, I don't like to hear about that. So you just take my advice or you leave it. She said she was going to give hers to you. So wait. Okay. Okay, I'll wait. I, yeah. I will. First time in your life, just, just wait. Ha. Huh. Emeka. Emeka, I've checked everywhere. She's not in the house. She's not even picking up my calls. What if something better happened to her? And she already told her lawyer. I mean, just what if? Look, look, look. Just stop playing for once, okay? Just be serious. Emeka, I'll keep you posted, okay? All right.
Jenny. Hey, babe. What's up? What time is it? I don't know. I didn't want to wake you up. You look really tired. What time did you get in? About uh, an hour or so. You didn't think of waking me up to reassure me? Reassure you? Of what? Didn't you get my phone call? Oh, yeah. I, I did. What was it about? You didn't dim it fit to inform me that you're not going to sleep here? I called everybody, even your parents. Ah, oh, about that. Don't you ever put my parents under that much pressure again. Huh? Ever. Hey, I'm talking to you. What has gotten into you? You and your scheming ways. Hey, Terminal. Yes. See you later in the evening. Have a great day. This is what I think it is. What, Terminal? What? You know, you are a lying, scheming man, so I suggest you put your thoughts down so we can be on the same page, okay? Right. The divorce papers. It's right in front of you, Terminal. Take your time. Read it. to yourself speak, eh? Are you implying that your ex-wives are undeserving of respect simply because they are human and not documents? Well, you of all people should know that. Isn't that how you dealt with my father? Huh? In a precise business manner, isn't it? Let's just say I'm learning from the best. How dare you, Tamuno? You do not know what happened between your father and I. And I you do not care. Young to understand. I do not care to know, mother. Can I have my house back, please? Tell me. What is she complaining to say to you? That she wants this facade of a marriage to continue? Or she wants a huge chunk of my money? Your money? How dare you? Who do you think you are? That girl gave up her job to be with you and with your marriage crumbling all around you. All you can think about is your money. Who do you think you are? I will find the right woman. All right? Nonsense. It's more like you will find the right deal. Where on earth did you get that absurdity that there's a right or perfect woman somewhere? Oh, she's out there somewhere. Really? Yeah. Is that what this is to you? An odyssey? What about loving an imperfect person perfectly? Please, spare me, mother. Nobody has time for that. I've told you. I will find the right one. And when I do, I'll let you know. Capish? Jenite is the 36th woman you've introduced to me in your 37 years of existence. What are you competing with? Your age? Please walk me to the gate. I said walk me to the gate. Sus. Can you believe she brought my mother into this? And she knows how much I try to avoid that woman. Look, Tamla, she's playing you. She's in your head. So it's better you just come to an agreement with her and end this whole thing. Huh? Yeah. Agree what? I should give my hard-earned money to a woman. A woman! Money she's going to spend on the next stupid guy who, who convinces her that he loves her. Ah! Come on now. This is someone you spent some months with, though. Eh? Uh, okay. You, you won't know. You think every woman is like your loyal fiancé in the UK, Abby? Come on. She hasn't given any reason for you to doubt her loyalty. Uh, I just let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. Ah. You're a novice. 
I need to be out of here. I'm not giving that girl a dime, man. So you need to get to work. All right, sir. Is that you? You dragged my mother into this. I mean, our parents have always been involved, Tamron, so I don't know what you're talking about. You know how much I hate to see my mother in my business? You crossed your line this time. Well, if you want me out of your hair, you know what to do. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is leave here without a pin. Well, you leave my house tonight. You know this doesn't change anything. Better call the cavalry because you can't do it on your own. This house belongs to me as well. You know that, right? What? I built my house before you came with your gold digging too. So Rick, why do you know so? And I built the big cube by myself when you were away on business. With the money that I sent you. Happy, calm down. At the mention of money, your blood would just be hot. Like say you never seen money before. What? Waiting. Get out of my house. Hey, 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 Nothing will happen with anybody. Open this door. Where your friends are, and they are on the start. Nothing, your father. Go call all of them. Come. Wait. Ah, uh, Mister, we're here for you again. You the boss number one, the boss number two, the boss number now. Me, you want to carry the 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 show power. Nothing, you don't do anything. Nothing, if you do. Like like, you do your work. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going anywhere from here. Hello? Oh, did you see my husband on your way here? No? Okay. Okay, I'm coming. I'll be right there. All right. How are you? Yeah, good morning. Good morning. I don't have time. I need you to change some locks for me. Okay. The front door and the back door. Okay. Let me show you the back door first. Okay. Did you come with an extra key? Yeah. Okay. This one, this one. Let me show you the other one real quick. Jenny! Jenny! What? Um, hey, it's... You, you have to stop this. I mean, it, it shouldn't have resulted to a police case. Now, talk to your friend. I thought we were friends. We ate from the same plate, yet you supported your friend to do this to me, to put me in this mess. Listen, I, I can explain. You can what... explain what? Take your explanation to the market and see what you can buy with it, because I don't care. Now, tell your friend that I am ready to bring him down if he doesn't give me what I deserve. Trust me. Excuse me. Yo, 
Get in the car. Is this how you want to leave now? No, just take me home, okay, please. No. I have the right to speak. You woke me up today. All right, so I have to talk because it's, it's even part of my job. Well, fine. Talk. Because that's all I hear these days. Words. Period. Tom, don't ever fight a bitter woman. Do you know what they say about a woman scorned? She's not getting a dime. Not one dime. <laughs> she has every right to push this case. But she's dropping it. He your wife beat her. I did not beat her. So what about the bruises on her face? I, I, look, I only pushed her, okay? I was angry. She changed the locks in my house. My house! Give her what she wants. Let's take me home. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't do anything to you. I did not. Hello? Um, are you calling to change our day? Oh, no, 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 of course. I remember he doesn't eat pepper. So I have that note. It's on my fridge. Don't worry. No, no, no. I have that under control. All right, then. Bye. Hello, Tamuno. Mrs. Ogbemoji, I just called. Do you remember the woman who um, made a quick... Yes, yes. Sorry for intruding, okay? I left my watch. It's on your former corner on the table. It's not my former anything. This is still my house until you leave. You know, you really should be careful how you talk to me. Not after I've made dinner for your future business partner. Like what you see? You're the biggest mistake ever. It's our pleasure. Lovely meal. Thank you. I hope one of these days you send me some of your different rice recipe. Oh, of course, I'll write it down. Bring it to Thank church, you. right? Yeah. Why don't you. you drop by on Monday in the office so we can finalize? I'll do just that. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, madam, for having us. It's our pleasure, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 After you. Thank you. You have a good night. All right. <laughs> Bravo! We should win an award, right, for putting up such a good show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I know that must have been very easy for you to do. Seeing that's all you've ever done ever since you said I do to me. Oh, please, quit being dramatic. Come and help me pack the things so we can do the dishes. Where do you think you're going? To the bedroom. Hey, hey, hey. listen. The only reason why I agreed to this is because I know that the contracts from him would mean that my compensation from this sham called marriage will double. And your place in this sham is in the kitchen. Huh? Deal with it. Tamuno. Me, Jenny T. <coughs> last, last. And I you come wash this place. You could be alright. You're crazy. <laughs> See if we don't stop, we'll end up in the room again. I'm not complaining. <laughs> mm, let me get that first. Safe by the bell. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. Good morning, ma. Sunny, please leave us for a bit, okay? I'll be with you soon, dear. Um, Itohan, I used to be married. I know who you are. You were married to my son. Thank you so much for having me, man. <laughs> As if I had a choice in the matter. You walked into my house unannounced, lady. If you want me to leave, I'll... Oh, please. Spare me the pumped up humility you young ones put up these days. It's not lost on me. Hmm? You're here now, so let's talk. Sit. Would you like some breakfast? No, thank you, ma'am. I had some before I left the house. Good. You seem to have fed very well since you left. You're glowing. Thank you. I remember how bitter you were when my son asked for a divorce. Um, I'm so sorry. I said a lot of hurtful words to you then. I was younger. I didn't understand that you were just as helpless as I was in trying to stop him from doing what he did. I... No offense taken. The boy hardly listens to me. But you look good. Hmm? Thank you. How long has it been? 16 years. Hmm. And he's yet to find the one. Anyway, I'm still on the search, so who knows? But why are you here, young lady? I have something to tell you. Okay. Does it have anything to do with me? Yeah. Immensely. Gods of our land! <laughs> oh, giddy, 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 Oh, oh, yeah, oh! Oh, oh, yeah, oh! I hear you, I hear you, I hear you! Ho, 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 ho! <laughs> What are you doing? A child that refuses his mother's sleep shall know no sleep. <laughs> A grasshopper that runs in the midst of fowl shall end up in the land of the spirits. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Oh, giddy, 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 What did the puzzle giddy. ever do to you? Give me what I want, Tamuno. Give me what I want, Tamuna! Mm -hmm. ah! You're not getting a dime. Mm -hmm. ah! A snake that does not show its venom! We allow children use it to tie firewood! Give me what I want, Tamuna! Hey! Oh yeah! Ho, 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 
taking this too far. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. You're not getting a dime from me. Oh! It's not going to work. Oh, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Twenty percent. Thirty, and that's because I'm in a good mood today. Just give it to her. And then to the house, you know, you can have it because it's his inheritance from his father. Of course, I don't want that house. I'm sure that's where all the hate for women stems from. I don't want to live with his boyish spirit in that house. So. The house in Maryland will suffice. Thank you. And I can also have tenants there. See? It's lovely, isn't it? And to the paintings you guys ah, have together. Paintings. He can have it all. Trust me. He can have every single one of them. And that's because I was never into art anyway. I only had to put on a persona. You know, a perfect wife personality just to suit him. But that's not to say I don't do things for you, darling, because I did. I really did good things for you. <laughs> Put that down. Put it down. Are you sure you don't want to go to the bedroom to check and be certain she doesn't take any of your things? No, no, no. Just let her take whatever she wants to take and leave. Okay. You know, all I ever wanted was to love you and be a good wife to you. But now I realize that I wasn't a problem. It's not the problem of the woman. It is you. You have the problem, Tamu. You've taken what you want, right? Leave. Just go away with your evil and leave my life alone! Have a sad, lonely, and miserable life, Tamu. Thank you. For every good thing you said, you need not do it. For what you have done to me, and what you have done to the institution called marriage. Let's go. From here onwards, it's it's a blank page. Just try and fill it up with good experience. Enough!
Hello? What are we all for? Well, uh, enjoying life. Minus a few nair. <laughs> Tell you I'm in heaven all again. Female. Ah, <laughs> when I'm not cursed. No, 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 I broke up with that other lady, man. Let's just say I'm trying to rediscover myself. If there's such a thing, and let that particular species be. Yeah. What? I was thinking about doing something fun. You know, far from work. Enjoy life. Okay, okay. All right. All right. This guy doesn't know that he has one and let sleeping dogs lie. Comfortable. Yeah. I just need to rest a little bit. Oh. Okay. So your mother called and she said she... Can, please. I don't have the strength to deal with her matter now. No, 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 no. You have to. You made the doctors keep her away from you in the hospital. Come on now. What do you want from me? I need to rest, please. Ah. Did the maker tell you was coming in today? No, sir. Let's check who's at the door. Yeah, let me go do that. Right. I should let him know you're here. No, no, no. I'll just walk into his bedroom. Where did you set him up? Um, the guest room downstairs, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you care for breakfast, ma'am? What do you have to offer me? 
Breakfast. Coffee, bread, tea. Ah. If that's all you have to offer, I'll just take some juice. But you may want to think about it. Hmm? I mean, what else you have to offer me? Hmm? <laughs> sure, sure. Ooh la la. Obina! Obina, I thought I told you to check in with me before allowing visitors in. I'm now a visitor, is that it? Look, mother, I don't have time for this, okay? Please. You told the doctors not to let me into your room while you were in the hospital. Do you know what that did to me? Of course I did. It gave you time to party and concentrate on the businesses that you, you stole from other men as divorce conversations. I would have smacked you on the face if you weren't already sitting in that chair. Well, it's never stopped you from knocking a man that's already on the ground, has it? Why stop now? How on earth did you ever turn out this way? So emotionless and uncaring, even to your own mother. Did you just ask me that? Really? A woman that left me and my brother, left her men and then ran away with a wealthier man. That's the same woman asking me how emotionless I am. That was between your father and I. And you're old enough now to realize that not all marriages work out. Oh, please. That did not give you the audacity to walk out on my brother and I. My brother died because you were not there. He died because he was a sickler. I wouldn't have that on my conscience, too. You know, I still have nightmares from the day you left my dad. Your living anniversary is still stuck in my head, just like yesterday. And the 6th of June will forever be the most terrible day of my life. That was the day I lost my father. The walking cops until his soul finally left his body. You killed him. That man was never the same after you left. He chose his own path. And your saintly father refused to let me take your brother and you with me. I don't care. You can please just leave my room. job here now? A chef to my mom? She eats men like you for breakfast, if you want to know, and spit you out at lunch. Madam, she has to rest, not argue. Well, you should have known that before allowing her into the house. And I would like some masking tape to seal his lips, if you don't mind. Please. Please. I'm tired. I don't want to argue with you any longer. It's all who came by the house to see me. It's all who? Your ex wife. Anything I can do to help? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let me help you with that. No, Mom. So please leave. Leave? <laughs> you have to be joking. I'm going nowhere. I must wait to say this. Suit yourself. I'll be in the living room if you need me. I'm grateful, son.
all gonna get to. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning, Mrs. Good morning, my darling. Please call me Nana. All right? I don't like grandma. Not that I mind being one. The name just makes me feel odd. <laughs> <laughs> Mother? Why did you opt for America for college? Um, first, I'm going there in a scholarship. And I am have traveled there before, and it's a good country to dream. That's a good one. So you saying dreams don't come true here? No, no, I didn't say that. Are you in pain? A wheelchair? Yes. Well, a little bit. The doctor says I'll be fine. I spent a few weeks in the hospital, but I'm feeling that. That isn't temporary. Maybe when I come visiting you, we'll open about. Yes, I will. How's your leg? It's getting better. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You did a good job with her. Hmm? She's so grounded. I didn't really do much. She's just an easy child. Ah. Please. It's over. I understand your divorce was very messy. You wanted it to work, but you should have at least allowed him to see his child. <laughs> that sounds so funny coming from you. I did the best I could. Your son was busy running around town with several women. That wasn't the kind of environment I wanted my daughter to grow up in. And for that, he lost 16 years. 16 good years. And now she's off to America. Samuno has himself to blame for that. My decision may have seemed selfish, but that was what was best for my daughter. Did your mom ever tell you about me? Yes. She said it was a bad situation. Huh. And that you never wanted her. I know. That's not what happened. Okay? We, 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 the marriage ended. We had a divorce, and then she didn't even tell me about the pregnancy. Like, I, I, I didn't even know you existed. Dad, <laughs> I don't want to think about who is right and who is wrong. I think I know where mom is coming from, and she just, she wanted it to be easier for her, without drama. By keeping it away from me? But <laughs> mom told me that she found her faith when she left you. And it helped her not to be bitter. 
Dad? Yeah. Do you have a relationship with God? Huh? <sighs> How do you mean? I mean, how is your faith? I don't want you to end up like mom. Who do you take your heart to? I, I, my heart, I, I guess I just deal with them. It's no biggie, really. Okay. So there's this book that I have been reading. It's, go ahead, take it. Thank you. Hugs? Yeah. <laughs> when she asked about him a few months ago, I thought, why not? She's old enough now to understand certain things and can have a relationship with him without me being in the middle of it. 16 years. Look, I'm sorry you had to go through this. I don't know where my nurse went to. Not a big game. How did you end up here? Did you do one of those your usual acts and a woman and you landed here? Where did you go? I guess. Hello. Hi. I had to dash to the market to get a few things. Um, besides, I'll need a stand-in for tomorrow. I have somewhere to be. Stand-in for what? Yeah. It's a family emergency. Doesn't the hospital have a replacement for that sort of thing? Well, it is an emergency, okay? That's why he's trying to perform some kind of magic. What does a normal day entail? Nothing much, just food, drinks and a couple of exercises. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it out there. Tell him how you do everything for me. Dad, it's nothing. I mean, you'll be well soon. Mom, can you fill in for that tomorrow? Huh? It's only for a day. No, no, no. I don't want you to tell her taking care of me, please. No. Like, I don't have a million things to do with my time. Oh, please, be grateful for once and accept help when it's offered. What's wrong with you? Dad? Okay. Would you want me to go over the drugs with you again? I took some notes yesterday, remember? Alright. He's already taken his bath and he's had breakfast as well. And his drugs? He's taking them. Okay, so where is he? Uh, he should be somewhere on the balcony. Okay. Yeah. Alright, you go. We'll be fine. Uh, he can't sass me either. Sure. So go on, we're good. If you need any help, just call me. Or you call the hospital. Okay. You have the numbers. I have the numbers. Yeah? Sure. Alright. Thanks for helping out again. Hey. I was hoping to see your kid. I was surprised when Samuel told me. So. Are you here to draft a legal document on her existence and how she isn't going to get a dime from her father? Or you want to run a paternity test to verify if she's actually his? There's no need for that. Tamuno says she looks like him. And that's good enough for you not to go rogue on me. So you tell her you need to let go of the past. Everything I did, I did at my client's bidding. You were heartless. Yes, I was heartless. Does that make you feel any better? No. I actually feel better now. You made me realize that no one is your friend simply because they say so. 
You were my friend, Emeka. Yet you were the one who doctored the legal document that sent me out on the streets. It left me bitter. I'm glad I've done it with all of that useless emotion. I know. Um, and I'm sorry. One thing you should know is that I told him not to do it. But then you know, tell me, no, he's, he's just a lost soul. That's not to justify what he did, but maybe I should have just left him with his business and just be a friend. So I'm wondering would I have found someone else to do his dirty work for him. There's rice and veggies and yam and veggies for lunch. Or will it be? Huh? I'm fine. I'm, I'm not hungry. Thank you. Fine. Is she everything you hope a daughter will be? I'm just glad I have a forgiving child, okay? She's more than I even imagined my daughter will be. But you know, I'm just thinking that I should have told you about the baby, regardless of how your relationship was. After all I did to her? I literally dragged her out of the house, threw her out in the street with my unborn child. Heck, I'm even afraid to use the drugs I've been left for her. What if she hasn't truly forgiven me? Huh? Come on. Don't be too hard on yourself. Please. Besides, where would she want to harm our daughter's father? Just let it be, okay? They've managed all along without me. It's possibly nothing I can give that little girl that I told her has not even given her yet. Write the documents. I see. All right, so. Yeah. And. Um, Sign it. Obviously. <laughs> Take care of yourself, man. I'll see you. So, did you suspect anything? I don't think so. Besides, it's his daughter pretty much made it easy for us, so. You see, I didn't see that coming. Her insistence made him give in. I have a feeling that they can work things out, you know, seeing they have time alone together to bury the past. I agree. But I still think the past should remain in the past. Then again, everyone needs someone to love or someone to hold on to. My client to mend faster, if he knows he has a wife and daughter who need him. Hmm. Romantic. I love my men that way. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry, but this can't work out. I only came here to report issues on your son. Besides, I'm married. What did they say about stolen waters? But they drowned a thief. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I could teach you a thing or two that will make your marriage interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay. Wow. I think I should be leaving. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Scary cats. <laughs> <laughs>
don't blame me when your nurse comes back tomorrow and announces you're malnourished. I'm good. It's all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. Don't hurt me, please. Please. You are sorry. You left me helpless and hopeless. I lost confidence in myself. How I wish you were not in this one chair. I'm sorry, please. Please forgive me, please. Please, I beg you, please. I'm sorry. I, I thought I was protecting myself. Please. I thought I didn't want to be like my father, please. Forgive me, Lord, and deliver me from the spirit of unforgiveness. Lord, fill me with your love. I you like an intelligent woman. No, <laughs> you don't. Yeah, but I like an intelligent woman. And I wasn't intelligent enough for you? He was somewhat intelligent. No, I don't mean that in a bad way. I <laughs> 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 so You were so Oh, okay. Okay, um. yeah. Uh -huh. I actually miss this.
It's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Why didn't you come sleep in my room? The bag is big enough for two of us. No, I'd rather sleep here. Thank you. Good night. stealing from you when you're better. He's a nurse. What do you need one for? Uh, um, massages or some of those things nurses do for their clients. I never claim to have all the answers, so. Anyway, young lady, you text me your account details, okay? Got him on his scholarship and mom has already taken care Sweethearts, of Sweethearts, that's what fathers do. Text him your account details and say thank you, dad. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Yeah. As soon as I get out of this, I'll come visit you, okay? Yeah, okay. I'll be safe. Okay. Thank you, again. Yeah. Maybe. Take care of you, okay? Yeah. Love you. Bye, Dad. you think she's too young to go away from school? Princess is responsible. I trust her. She'll be fine. She knows she's never alone. God is with her. She's known this as a child. And I've been meaning to say this to you. You did a terrific job raising her. Thank you. It was a community effort. My brothers and parents helped. I'll forever be grateful to them. But then I also had a supreme being watching over us. I don't know how to say this. But you don't have to say anything, Tamano. The past is in the past. Please. I can't say I acted the way I did because I watched how my father almost become useless. A shadow of himself after my mother left him for another man and took away a chunk of his money. He never got over it. It must have been a difficult situation for a boy to be caught up in. But still... Well, I should have known better. But I didn't. I promise it to her. Things will be better now. I've learned a lot in this past few months. I, I know you heard from the past, okay? But I'm a better person now. And I know what I want now. 
That's my ride. That ship sailed a long time ago. Everything I'm doing now, I'm doing for the sake of our daughter. Then please give me a second chance. Don't you think she'll be happy knowing that we're back together? No, Tamara. She'll be happy to see me happy. And I'm also happy she's out there in the world living her own life. My boyfriend of a year and a half ago proposed to me last week. I'm starting afresh. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to take the shine off Sassy's living and all that. I'll check up on you from time to time, Tamara. I promised her daughter to give her regular reports. Congrats. Thank I'm you. Happy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Tamuna. Thank you. 